and welcome back to our Spirit Fair playthrough. This is video two that I'm doing here on my channel. And we just got to, I think it was Mostein Cove. So we just got here. It looks like it's uh, starting to be sunset because I had the game open for a little bit after I finished my last video. So let's talk to Gwen and go from there. And links will be below if you didn't catch the first video. Uh, I'll have a whole playlist so you can follow that if you've missed uh, the previous video or if you want to watch any of the ones that might have come after this video. Look at that. Mm -hmm. We should hop on that island over there. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Seeds for the future. Oh. So it looks like Gwen is coming with us on our boat. Unlike when we went to the shark place, only I could go. So it looks like the spirits can come with us to the locations. That's fun. Mm -hmm. What a majestic tree. Well, you can cut it down. Yes, it's fine, I promise. Mm -hmm. It's the best way to get wood you need, actually. But don't worry, they'll regrow over time. Another interesting fact about the Everlight. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I make a saw with my Everlight. And Daffodil's Everlight. And we can cut the tree down together. Congratulations, for you have become death, the destroyer of worlds. Jokes aside, that's how you do it. Mm -hmm. You go on ahead cutting down more trees. Then we can go back to the boat and build the field with all the maple logs. I'll be next to the raft. Looks like we have some berry bushes. Yeah, we got some raspberries. Nice. Okay, so we can't cut down any of these skinny trees. We have to wait till we get a, a big tree like this one. Seems to take quite a while to cut down a tree. I don't know if there's a special trick to it that I don't realize that you have to do to make it quicker. Gwen didn't say anything about mining, but we might as well get some limestone while we're here, right? That looks like the end of the map for this home. to see if there's any secrets behind those bushes in the water. You never know. I guess if we check that, we should check here as well. Let's go all the way over to the right where we were before. Doesn't look like any secrets on this area, at least. 
Oh, look at that. We got some bottles. All right, let's go back to Gwen. Hmm. All right, let's go back to the boat and get this built. Oh wow, fields are big. So we already don't have room, but it looks like the roofs of the other buildings go down when you're building. So do we want the field to be on the bottom or on the top? I think I want the field on the bottom. So let's put the kitchen on top of the guest house and then put the field here. I mean, it looks like we already have a few seeds, so let's get some seeds planted. Gwen did say they liked coffee, so let's get some coffee beans growing. And it looks like we need to water them. And the Everlight becomes whatever we need, so it's becoming a water pill. Nice. Oh, it looks like Gwen maybe went to bed for the night, so... Let's go to bed too, and we'll talk to Gwen in the morning about the fields. I really like how relaxing the background music is for this game. It's really soothing. better looking than I thought. There's a little je ne sais quoi to it. Simple but elegant. Mm -hmm. Now all you have to do is plant field seeds in there. Seeds can grow only in their respective places. Garden seeds won't grow in the field, so don't bother trying. Mm -hmm. but you know me, I would kill a plastic cactus, so don't take my word for it. Anyways, there's only one place where we could possibly find what we need. Theodore specialize in seeds. Mm -hmm. He has set up shop in Hummingburg, the busiest town in the area. Theodore and his brothers are the founders of Raccoon Inc., a shady retail franchise with very loose moral value. Yes, this world has a serious problem of dubious business practices. Mm -hmm. Since I don't want you to get swindled, I'll come with you and do most of the talking. I've run into this cheeky little raccoon once, and his dishonesty was blatant. Let's head to Hummingburg, then. Mm -hmm. We just need to find some seeds for the field. So maybe I should have talked to Gwen before planting these seeds? I'm trying to remember how to get to my inventory. There we go. So, it says that's for the garden, and that's for the field. So I think I'm okay. I think it doesn't let you plant them in the wrong spot. So we should be good. Alright, so we have ladders now as well for the ship. Can cook some raspberries? I want to see what raspberries turn into. Jam, maybe? That makes sense if it turns into jam. This would have been good for that jellyfish mini quest mini game we did. Definitely a lot more height than we had before. Alright, so let's... Get a moving. Where are we gonna go? Oh, 
it looks like we were right beside it. Oh, and we have another dark uh, storm here that we can go to. Interesting. Oh, and we have a few crates. You know what? Let's go pick up these crates. Yeah, I love how you can see the place you're leaving in the background. That's really neat. Oh, we got an old shoe. First time we haven't gotten herring. So you can definitely get different things off the back of the ship. That's good to know. Not that I really want to eat an old shoe. I wonder if you can put that into the oven. I think I heard the raspberries being done. Let's go see. Oh, I think it just finished. It makes a, a dink sound when it's done. Poached fruit. Huh. I like poached fruit. Let's not cook a log. We can't cook a shoe, though. It's not coming up. So let's go diving. A vibrant necklace and limestone. Nice. Alright, let's collect all these things on the side of the boat. Oh, we got a mussel. That's the first time we've gotten a mussel. Let's see if we can cook the mussel. Gwen did say that they weren't a fan of eating the same thing twice, so we need a bit of variety for them. Not seeing any other sparkles in the water, so we should be all good. You know what I'll do though? Let's get moving on to the next crate. While I go ahead and do that cooking and the watering for the plants. This game's all about multitasking and getting resources, so... You want to make sure you're always doing two things at once if possible. Oh, we can cook the mussel. Let's go ahead and cook that. Snack would be great right about now. Okay, so Gwen is hungry. Oh, Gwen can eat the raspberries just as is, so let's try giving mm. just the raspberries. You know I can't eat fruit for the life of me. Looks like Gwen doesn't mm. do fruit. I've tried, but I just can't. Okay, so no fruit. Let's do the grilled mm. fish. Thanks, mm. I love it. Gwen liked the grilled fish, so we definitely should cook more of that and maybe lay off the poached fruit for now. And we have the shellfish as well. Let's do a bunch of those. And it looks like we're at the crate. Oh, nice, we got a turn up. And it looks like we have a few sparkles in the water. Another vibrant necklace and some limestone. I'm guessing the necklace we can probably sell to the same vendor where we're going to buy some seeds from. And the limestone probably is good for building. So 
it looks like we're all good. No more sparkles in the water. And I already cleaned the boat, so I don't need to clean the side of the boat. So let's go to this town. they've started to grow since we last watered them they've gotten a little bigger and they look different too you can tell the difference between all of them so let's fish while we're waiting to arrive at our destination another old shoe gonna come with us again we're here let's buy some seeds Theodore has set up shop on this island let's pay him a visit oh look at this place this is a big town oh I'm out here looking for the right house to start a family. My wife sent me out to find something that might fit our needs. A garden, maybe a pool. Oh. I'm not asking for much. I just can't decide. I know that you can't help me, but it helps to say oh. it out loud. I might stumble on the rarest of finds. <laughs> oh. I'm busy, miss. Ooh, we can go in the houses, too. Oh, it looks like we found one of those boxes, so I guess that's this game's treasure chest system for finding things. Now, how do we get out of this house? Oh, there we go. Ooh. A stroll a day keeps the doctor away. Which reminds me, I haven't been to the doctor in forever. Oh no. Why did I think about health all of a sudden? Am I suddenly starting to feel unwell? Ooh. I'm not sick. I'm okay. Ooh, look at this. This NPC's glowing in blue. It looks special. Ooh. Yeah, I hope my next game will be ready soon. I've crunched the data and spent five nights theory crafting. Clearly, if you take the heavy weapon proficiency, from the mountain gnome race, there is a nifty synergy with the level 3 rogue ability. Eviscerate. <laughs> Took me a second. You don't normally see eviscerate spelled out. It's for sure a bit weird, but hey, 5d20 and an auto crit on prone can't be defeated, am I right? This guy's definitely a gamer. I wonder why he's glowing. Oh, quite a few people are glowing, actually. Oh, let me guess. I'm a bit of a psychic, you know? Your name is Mary? Or Margaret? It's Missy. Wait, no. Essie? Don't tell me. It's, oh shoot. I'll get it. Someday. I'm sorry. I'm in a bit of a rush. Okay, so he's saying the same thing as before. Let's go to this house. Now on the bottom... Oh, look at that. <laughs> I like how you can sit down. There's one here for us. lots of seeds. Mm. Take a good look at this shrine, Stella. 
it's simply stunning. Some objects in this world are meant to resonate with the spirit fair and the Everlight. I've heard this monument has the power to enhance the Everlight's ability. The two slots on it need to be filled up. I'm certain you could use ovals to activate it. But to get ovals, you need to welcome more spirits to your ship. I'm sure you'll find more lost souls like me. So it looks like we're about halfway filled on it. That's cool, so you can level up, basically. Ooh, double jump. Okay, so we're one out of two, so we just need one more spirit, and then we get a, a double jump mechanic. Nice. simply adore your hat. Our local shop, Raccoon Inc., only carries garbage wares. Seeds, logs, rocks, mm. all useless items. I need me a hat like yours. Stella does have the best hat. It's like a star. It's really cool. So there's no way to get to the roof from inside. So I think we'll have to jump up there. I'm busy, miss. Oh. I'm going home. Don't follow me, please. Oh. I hate it when people know where I live. If you know my address, you'll tell people. Then they'll tell oh. people. Listen, I just don't want junk mail. Yeah, you and me both. Oh. Good day to you. Oh, so it looks like we're at the shop. That's Theodore. Go ahead, take a look at what he's selling. Step right up, potential prospect. Welcome to Raccoon Inc. We've been servicing Hummingbird since forever. You've got the glimpse, I've got the goods. Yeah, so I was right, glimpse are the money for the game. You've got all the wares to make you spend those hard-earned glims. Step right up. So I can sell, buy, and talk. Let's see what we can sell first. I just want to see if he wants to buy those shoes that I found. Nope. I have quite a bit of money, though. That's great. Mm -hmm. Those prices are out of control. I won't let him get away with this. Are you ready to see me obliterate this merchant? Mm -hmm. Good. Let's do it. All right, Gwen. Theodore, I know what you're doing here, and you should be ashamed of yourself, you trash panda. Mm. People like you are the reason we have middle fingers. Mm. What? Madame, what's the meaning mm. of this? Your friend here is the new spirit fairer, but she's not a newbie, and neither mm. am I. What little scam of yours won't work on us? Mm. But I... I can assure you, my business practices are quite above board. Mm. Be warned, you treacherous striped weasel. I won't tolerate this behavior. One more second. No more shenanigans. No more double crosses. Mm. Just fair prices. Ah. I, I... Mm -hmm. So stop being dishonest at once. And next time I see you, I'll try being nicer. If you started being smarter. Mm. Got it? Mm. But... Yes. Yes, of course. Ooh. I promise you, I'll adjust my prices. I beg of you, please don't scold me anymore. I'll even give you a discount. Mm. <laughs> hey, you. Yes, you. Your friend really gave that greedy merchant some help. You both look like you could join the upstairs crew. 
You want to come up, don't you? I can see it in your eyes. I'm not gonna lie. It's pretty cool being up here. Yeah, all the best people are up here. Don't get too excited, though. Some idiot broke the ladder. You'll have to be able to jump inhumanly high to make it. I guess you could also use the stairs in that house. But some other idiot lost the key. Well, anyways, see you. Upstairs crew forever. <laughs> Gwen really gave it to the raccoon. Gwen is a boss. So I'm guessing we're gonna have better prices now. That was a good scene though. We already have quite a few seeds. I don't know if we need to buy any of these. Maybe some corn ones? Let's buy one corn one. <laughs> and let's see. So we definitely can't get into that house. And I'm guessing you need double jump? I feel like we can almost do it though. Is there anything to stand on? No, so I guess to be part of the upstairs crew, we'll have to wait until we have double jump. All right, let's talk to Gwen and go back to the boat. You've gotten everything you need. I'll take my leave. Feel free to stay here as long as you want. I'll meet you at the pier. So I think this is the end of the map. It doesn't look like we can go further until we have that double jump. But we only needed one more spirit for that double jump, so we should be able to do it pretty soon. And there's something on top of this house as well that we can't get because we can't jump high enough. So I think we're done in this town. Let's go back to the boat. And it's night. Let's see if we can move somewhere. Oh nice, so the map got a bit bigger. Is there anything we haven't done here? Oh, it looks like there was some crates there. So you know what? Let's go to here. It looks like... Oh, it looks like it just became morning. I thought it was night still, so we, I was surprised when the boat started moving. And it looks like we can harvest our coffee beans. Nice. It looks like this linen that we grew takes longer than the coffee beans do. I want to make Gwen some coffee. Cause Gwen mentioned sh they liked coffee. Look at all that fish. Let's cook all of them. I don't think there's going to be more we can do with coffee, so might as well cook it. Here we are again. The jellyfish are stealing all the light, as they've stolen all hope from me. I'll never get used to it. And a part of me makes me think it's all my fault. All right, you can do your thing again. Are you up for it? Don't be scared, Stella. They'll be coming straight for us. Okay, I'm ready. And I have taller building, so hopefully I shouldn't miss any this time. Very high, much higher than my ship.
maybe it wasn't a good time to do this. Because these are really high compared to how tall my boat is, so... I think maybe I needed to wait to do this. Definitely could have gotten those jellies though. Yeah, I definitely think it's maybe not the best to do those back to back. We need to give a bit of time before doing those mini games. Oh, perfect. We learned black coffee. So we have five recipes now. We know how to make poached fruit, popcorn, steamed shellfish, grilled fish, and coffee. Let's see if Gwen's hungry. It is pretty early in the morning. Way ahead of me, Stella. Your thumb is as green as your hat. This boat will soon become a cozy floating farm. Don't forget that you probably have to water the plants once in a while. Don't ask my word for it though. My gardening knowledge is as limited as my father's empathy. You'll have to find better mentors than me. Mm -hmm. Which reminds me, I believe it's time for you to find new people. Mm -hmm. Not that I don't love the idea of just the two of us cruising the oceans. But you are the spirit fairer, and spirit fairers find spirits. Mm -hmm. And yes, help them fulfill their last wishes, however mundane they can be. I've heard of a place not far from here where someone might be in need of your help. And I bet you'll like this one if he is who I think mm -hmm. he is. Go, let's sail. Oh, it looks like will probably know the next spirit as well. I wonder if you know all the spirits that you meet. Okay, let's try giving Gwen the coffee. Now this is one darn fine cup of coffee. I've had, I can't tell you how many cups of coffee in my life, but this one is the best. Thank you very much, Stella. Do you want a hug? That's a great game mechanic. I think all games should have a hug mechanic between NPCs. Feeling much better. Oh, nice. Okay, so... Gwen said to sail, so we should set sail. But let's go all the way down here and get the crate first. For building. Okay, so we either need to get lightning in a bottle or some maple logs. So right now it looks like we have the field and we need the garden next. So I wonder where you get lightning in a bottle. Let's go get these crates. It looked like they were pretty far away though, so... Oh, you can actually see on the top left hand side, you can see your progress to your destination. So it looks like we have quite a while to go. gonna go after. So that's the other door down there. Oh, and this is where Gwen wants us to go. Barkinshelm Creek. Interesting. 
So, I wonder if we can go here to go up there? We'll have to see once we get the crate. We have quite a while to go, so let's do some fishing. And then maybe after we're done fishing, we can go have a look at the plants. Okay, so it looks like we're almost at the crate, and I think as soon as we grab the crate, we'll stop there for the day, and come back to this game, and go on a mission to find that other spirit. get another spirit we're probably gonna have to build more rooms though i wonder if gwen has a room as well looks like there's quite a lot of rooms you can build in each category So it looks like we've arrived at the crate. We've already picked up the crate though. So we're gonna set our destination to go find that other spirit uh, when we come back. But uh, that's all for now. I hope you guys had a great day today and leave me any comments below. Let me know what you got up to. I know it's uh, December here, so a lot of us are having some cold weather and staying indoors, so there isn't much going on for myself, but I really enjoyed playing Spirit Fair today, and I can't wait to play more. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now.